So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can disable the two-step verification and how you can turn it on. In case, uh, because currently we all know that if you try to a different way, you get something like internal error or try to con uh, contact uh, the customer service. And you know what that means on its own. So uh, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go straight to KDP dashboard. So we're going to type on KDP.com. Then when you come to kdp.com, trying to show you the process that uh, brings pops up such message. So I'm going to click on your account. Then I'll patiently wait for it to load. So when it loads, then we move on to the next phase of this. So now you can see it's sent. Um, a mail has been sent to my number, and another one has been sent to this. Uh, in case you've not added uh, mail, then currently you can't receive to your phone number. So and it becomes a problem. But since I've already received, um, I'm going to show you an, uh, one step towards that without. Um, in case you don't have email, but if you have mail like me, what I'll do is first of all, I'm going to go straight to my mail and check because they always send to mail, not to phone number. So in case you've added your own to your mail, uh, you added mail to your two-step verification, then you can see something like this trying to tell me, hey, someone tried to. So I'm going to just copy this from here, which I just got right now so and check if it matches with what i want so i'm going to put on the paste here i'm going to say ctrl v i'm going to submit the code and see if i um okay it said please wait four or five seconds before requesting another another one okay let me just type on recent code let's just wait so now i've resent the code let me go straight to this place and try reload let me tap on all in balls so i'm going to just refresh this and see if it comes so if it comes, we're good to go. So the time here says uh, 2256. So one has just come. So let's see what we have. So currently we'll be using the time 33 minutes ago. So we have this zero minutes ago. That that means this is what we are working with this one here. So now I'm going to copy this one here. Then when I copy it, then I'll move on to this place and try put on the code in there. Then I'll hit on submit. Then it should work perfectly fine. So now we're done with that. They want to move on to the next step. So it said two-step verification. There is need for me to put on my two-step verification. And I'm not putting it on because what we are learning is how to turn it off. So we'll not follow this one. We'll go straight to Amazon.com and we'll just type on Amazon.com. Then when Amazon comes up, move on to this side that says hello and move on to your account. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on account. Then it's going to show me different stuff. And it's going to show me the your other category login and security prime your payment your address your gift card yes and i know you know how to add payment method in case you don't know how to do that just check my channel you're going to see lots and lots of video that talks about amazon watch and enjoy yourself but most importantly please subscribe to it, my channel and give me a like for this if you find it um, helpful as well so now i'm going to move on to login and security so now what we're going to do is to just wait for this to load then we'll move on to the next phase of this so over here we have login we have the name we have the email so in case you don't have email is needed you put your email here because merely you put it it means amazon is going to send you a uh, notification directly to your yes it's going to send you notification directly to your um to your um sorry when you ask um you try uh, sorry when you're trying to put in, you're trying to log into your dashboard, they are going to ask for two step uh, for a, uh, OTP, which is uh, the one time password sent to your mail. So edit that. Then at the phone number aspect, you can put your phone number and see. Then, but we want to come here to the two step verification. So in case your own is turned on, you can turn it off. So if I want to turn it on, for example, it's going to ask me for two steps. So we have two ways we can do that. We have, let's just get started and see what we have. So now over here, we have. This. So I advise you use Authenticator app. In case you don't know how to say this at the description of this video or at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a link that we direct you to on how to use Authenticator. Yes, I explained it very well in this video. So this is the name of the video where I explained it. Look at it here. You can see Amazon OTP not receiving Nigeria to fix country code not support and create KDP account 2023. So you can watch that. And three months ago, I did that. And uh, people has been um, coming to me telling me it was helpful. All right. So at the phone number here, this one is really not almost working. So I'm going to come to Nigeria. 
so i'm going to i'm going to set it up now and the reason i'm doing this is i'm going to put it and disable it so that you see how to do that so i'm going to just put one here and hit on continue so invalid otp look at the error we are having internal error so really can do that really can do that so you can turn your off just go through your login and security at the two-step verification you're going to see remove phone number just remove the phone number and you're good to go so at the authenticator app we can move on and let me just put in my authenticator code and see how it is so now i've done that let me just try to verify otp and continue invalid code so now what i'll do is i'm going to just put in the exact code and see if it has changed uh, let me still put that again and okay now we have another let me put nine seven uh nine seven four one one two so let's just try to verify otp and see all right if it does not work it's either i've not set it up so what i'm going to do i, I could just scan it off by just setting it up very very fast it's very very simple all right uh i've seen it i've seen it so it's, it's all my fault i have it before so i'm gonna just put nine six four nine five three I'm going to on verify and we are good to go so now i've turned that off we have that ready almost done what i'm doing i'm going to say got it turned on two-step verification but always don't require because that is good so now we have uh authenticator one app and backups you see that is where i have backup so over here now you can decide to change it so for you to change it come to your login and security the essence why i took so much time to explain this is because i want you to get this as well so i'm going to come to this place i'm going to say manage then to the verification you see you can see phone number here then at this place we can change this phone number it's very very easy or you can add new phone number and see so i'm going to just come here and just click on change then when it tell you change you can change from this but above all uh, you can delete it if you don't want because my main step verification is real this one this is the one i'm using if i should manage this stuff now if you see very well you could see that is i'm using this so they can send by test message which is backup message then we have a uh, one app enroll this is the preferred method so you can decide to change it if you want it's really your choice so you can come to phone number if it permits and you're good to go but one i know notice about amazon is they allow you to um they automatically add mail yes to your um to your two-step verification so that you can receive the message directly in your mail and i believe this video is helpful so um if you find it more difficult you can chat me up on whatsapp find a link any week to just to get to me then i'm good i will reply to your dm immediately you send me a message so guys thank you for watching and that is just a simple way to do that uh, come straight to amazon.com when you come to amazon.com and uh, just move around yes move around this side and um, go straight to uh, your account login and security then move on to two-step verifications and you can turn it off there uh, delete the number and stuff but before you start deleting a number and so you uh, ensure you have your authenticator app ready it is very very important so that you don't get into problem all right guys thank you for watching i'll see you in my other tutorial please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share and subscribe to my youtube channel so that we can grow together bye